Fifth disease, also known as erythema infectiosum or slap cheek syndrome, is a viral illness caused by parvovirus B19. It primarily affects children but can occur in adults as well. Here's a breakdown of the symptoms, causes, and treatments. Symptoms. Slap cheek rash. One of the hallmark symptoms is a bright red rash on the cheeks, giving the appearance of being slapped. This is often the first sign of the illness. Lacy rash. Following the slap cheek rash, a lacy, red rash may appear on the arms, legs, and trunk. Fever. Some individuals may experience a mild fever, headache, or runny nose. Joint pain. In adults, joint pain, arthralgia, may occur, typically affecting the wrists, knees, ankles, and hands. Causes. Parvovirus B19. Fifth disease is caused by infection with parvovirus B19. It spreads through respiratory secretions, like saliva or mucus, when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Incubation period. After exposure to the virus, symptoms may take 4 to 14 days to appear. Treatments. Symptomatic relief. In most cases, fifth disease resolves on its own without treatment. The focus is on managing symptoms. Fever reduction. Over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen or ibuprofen can help reduce fever and alleviate discomfort. Hydration. Ensuring adequate fluid intake is important, especially if fever is present. Rest. Getting plenty of rest helps the body fight off the virus. Avoiding spread. Since fifth disease is contagious, it's essential to practice good hygiene, such as frequent handwashing, to prevent spreading the virus to others. Pregnant women. If a pregnant woman is exposed to fifth disease, she should consult her healthcare provider. In some cases, there can be risks to the fetus, although these are rare. Joint pain relief. If joint pain is severe, a healthcare provider may recommend over-the-counter pain relievers or anti-inflammatory medications. Antiviral medications. In severe cases or for individuals with compromised immune systems, antiviral medications may be prescribed, although this is less common. Precautions. Isolation. Individuals with fifth disease should avoid close contact with pregnant women, individuals with weakened immune systems, and infants until they are no longer contagious. Stay home. It's important for individuals with symptoms of fifth disease, especially children, to stay home from school or daycare until they are no longer contagious. If you suspect you or your child has fifth disease, it's advisable to consult a healthcare provider for proper diagnosis and guidance on management.